Welcome and thank you for joining me today for our call handling training on the Avaya Equinox desktop client. We'll be discussing inbound and outbound calls, checking voicemail, conferencing, and transferring today. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to access our keypad in the upper left corner here. You can click or you can manually type in your desired phone number. You can see that the Equinox application will stay open and the top of mind screen will be at the top and your active call section will be uh, presented to you down there at the bottom in the gray rectangular area. Uh, the blue microphone button in the lower right hand corner you can see there will mute your audio for the call. The red icon will allow you to end the call. You also have the option to toggle a keypad should you need to make any numerical choices. The pause button is also available for holding and releasing the call from a hold. Incoming calls are displayed in the lower right hand corner. You can see you've got the standard red and green options to answer or ignore. You can see the active call area was not fully displayed or expanded until the call was active and then you are presented with the call handling options that you would expect. Your Equinox presence in the upper left corner now shows your teammates that you are indeed on an active call. Should you need to transfer your active call to another party, you can access the ellipses button and then browse to transfer call. You may then input the internal extension or you may dial code for an external number, then select transfer. And now you can see that your Equinox client is ready again for your next incoming call. conference with another party, you can locate them in your history or corporate directory. You can then locate a colleague, highlight their information, and select the phone icon to place a call. Active calls are then automatically placed on hold while you ring your other party. Once your party has answered and is accepting of the conference call, you can select the ellipses button and browse to merge call where you will see your held caller listed there. All three parties are now active on a conference call together. It's worth noting that there's another method for conferencing or even transferring a call which can be done with a drag and drop feature. During an active call, simply locate another contact, whether external or internal will be fine, and you can drag their caller ID entry from the Equinox menu and then release them into the active call area. You are then presented with an option to either merge or transfer that call. Should you choose to merge the call, you will then be placed into a conference call that is active with another party. If you choose to transfer the call, then as we saw earlier in the video, your Equinox client will release the call and you will then be ready to accept your next incoming call. A new voicemail message is indicated by the red icon in the upper right hand corner that looks like an old style tape recorder. When you click on that, you are automatically dialed into the voicemail system where you will be prompted to enter your extension number and pound sign followed by your password in the pound sign, and then you will be able to access your new voicemail messages. Looking at the top of mind screen here in Equinox, there is a toolbar going across the top which contains the corporate directory as well as your favorites. Your call history will also include colleagues and frequent contacts. Any contractors or vendors or business partners who you contact on a regular basis, it may be a good idea to add them into your favorites or your contacts so that you can dial them more easily. Simply select the plus sign and then you will manually input your contact information similar to what you would do with a smartphone entry. You're going to need a first name and a last name as well as a phone number in order for Equinox to accept the new contact entry. If you're entering an external contact, keep in mind that you may need to input a dialing code, usually a 9, in order for that call to be completed when you select the contact. You can see here that the Add Contact button is still not able to be selected because I have only entered my first name. I've entered my last name. You're, you can also customize any company information that will help you distinguish your contacts from one another. And now once I input my work number, you'll see that I'll be able to add myself as a contact to my corporate directory. Once I'm entered in as a contact, simply locate the contact in the directory and you can toggle the star icon next to their name in order to add them to your list of favorites. Thank you so much for joining us at Agility Communications for this training session. 
Our YouTube channel is frequently updated with content relevant to our customers and their design needs. We have several new videos on the latest software release from Avaya Release 11. Also, keep in mind that our newly revamped website, as well as our Twitter feed, has current events and upcoming webinars. You can even email us suggestions for video content, as well as webinar topics, by emailing info at agilitycg.com. We really appreciate your time today. We hope it was beneficial and helpful for you, and we hope to be with you again soon.